Today in this video, we're going to talk about GitHub Copilot's new coding agent. We know there is GitHub Copilot and there is also a new GitHub Copilot's coding agent. So this is entirely different from the Copilot itself because you know that the GitHub Copilot is something that you can actually use with your, uh, with your Visual Studio for that matter. And then if you ask any questions on this particular uh, Copilot, it is going to answer you. But the coding agent is a bit different. It is basically going to be running on the background for you while you create any pull request. Even if you wanted to fix some issues from the uh, coding agent, you can do everything from here. But once again, this coding agent is not available for free. You need to be at least a pro user uh, for using this particular plan. In order for you to enable the GitHub Copilot coding agent, all you have to do it is you just have to, uh, let's say, uh, settings over here. Uh, and then you can see that we have got an option over here called as Copilot. And if you see there are this uh, Copilot agent, uh, the coding agents feature, which is currently in preview state. And I have given the access to all the repository. And then you can see that they have got a lot of features in the Copilot. These features, you just have to enable the uh, coding agent uh, feature, which is this one, the Copilot coding agent, which is currently in preview. Just to show you an action, like how it actually works. Let's say I'm gonna uh, ask a question over here. Missing, changing different color options in the uh, application. And if I'm going to create an issue, you see that this is the normal way of doing it, right? This is how we create an issue. And we used to assign this particular issue to some of the developers if you really wanted to. But over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this to a copilot over here, which is the AI pair programmer. The moment I assign it, you see that now there is really, it's going to be a new copilot being assigned and he's starting to work there. And he has a pull request for me, which is a work in progress pull request. And if I'm going to go to this particular pull request over there, uh, you see that now it's going to say that this is the original description that it has got. Uh, and now it is starting to work. 